today we're going to be doing some keyframing. As you can see, I have my four sequences with the four images on each one. Uh, these are timelines that can be closed and then open back up again. So if you don't see a timeline that you know you worked on, just look for it in your asset box and you'll be able to open it back up again. I'm going to close master because I don't want any pictures on there by accident and go to my first category, video games. Because I'm in the effects tab here, uh, you've got effect controls and this is the way to keyframe your pictures. Select the word motion so that you'll have the ability to move the picture easily. Open up the triangle next to motion. Make sure you're at the very beginning and keyframe position and scale. Then go ahead and scale the picture down to find out what the magic number for that particular image is. How far can you go without black bars being seen? So right here you can see as I'm moving the numbers, clicking and dragging on the blue numbers, I'm manipulating the image without even touching it. Don't grab this. This is what's supposedly the center of the picture, the anchor point, and that you can run into a lot of problems if you start moving that around later on. So this would be the maximum zoom out level, and my keyframes are set for that as a starting point. Then I go to the end. I'm going to go back one frame, so I'm on the very last frame of Skyrim, and then I'm going to zoom in. Now the maximum amount that you're allowed to zoom in is 100%. You may decide not to zoom in quite that far, just depending on how you want to set up the image, but I'm going to go ahead and position it as a final point right about there. Let me go back and watch my movie. Now I'm going to be doing this keeping in mind that I'm going to be adding some text. So by doing it this way, I've got a nice clear sky area up here to put what I want to say about this game. Let's do the second one. By selecting the next image, clicking up here, the laser will be brought to the very beginning. I'm going to select motion and open up keyframing position and scale. I'm going to find a maximum amount that I can zoom out, then go to the end, back one frame, and then go to zoom in. That's the maximum amount to zoom in, and in this case it doesn't really need to move around. I'm just going to zoom in right on, please stand by. If I decide I want it to go the other direction, it's very easy to select keyframes by clicking and dragging around them moving them inwards a little bit, then I can select this keyframe, move it to the beginning. And now I'm going to move this to the end, maybe back just a tiny bit. And back one frame. You can see right here that I've got right on those keyframes because that blue diamond appeared. So you can use these keyframe jumpers to go back and forth in between keyframes very easily. And you can see right here there isn't one for position. Should I move this a little bit, maybe up a tiny bit, so please stand by as a little above center, you can see that a keyframe has automatically been added. If you're in the middle and you move the picture, you're going to end up with a keyframe. You don't want that. I'm going to click on Remove Keyframe here in the middle and go to the next picture. Selecting the next picture, go to the beginning, select motion. Open up, keyframe position and scale, and then zoom out as far as I can. Go to the end, back one frame, zoom in as far as I can, and then decide what it is I want to be zoomed in on. Perhaps in this case I want to show the name of the game so I don't have to tell everybody what that is. I don't zoom in on this as far so it fills up the screen because 100 is as far as I can go. Let me watch that again. Should I decide to reverse this? I select and move them. And then I may decide, you know what, I want to zoom. Let me do that again. Looks like I messed up. So starting there, if I want to zoom in not on the name but on the portal, I'm going to go directly to my ending keyframe and change what the last one's going to look like. Now I've decided that the portal is the focus of the video. Let me do one more here. Click up here, drag it to the beginning. 
Motion, Open, Keyframe, Position, and Scale. Find out what the maximum amount of scale reduction is, in this case 83%, perhaps, if I need one more, 82, 81, no further. Go to the end, back one frame, maximum zoom, 100, and decide what I want to look at. In this case, I'm going to go probably right there and show this part. That, well, no, I don't like that part. I'm just going to show the pixelation in the game so I can decide what's visible at the end and what is not. Leaves me a nice area here in the corner to put whatever I want to say. And that's how you do some basic keyframing. Let's do one more. You saw me do this one. Here's steak, and it's already made. Notice the difference in how it takes off and ends. Let me do that for one of my first ones here. So for Skyrim, I can select those, right click, and use temporal interpolation. I want it to ease in to that final position so it's not quite so abrupt when it gets there. Nice smooth deceleration. Same thing with the beginning if you like. Right click, temporal interpolation, ease out. So it makes a much smoother motion for your keyframes.